How GPS Works Have you ever wondered how a utility provider can map the location of their network or a surveyor pinpoint a property boundary with incredible accuracy? The answer lies in the Global Navigation Satellite System, GNSS, a technology that has revolutionized navigation and positioning across the globe. In this video, we'll explore the basics of how GNSS works, including how receivers calculate their position by measuring the time it takes for signals to travel from satellites to the receiver. We'll also discuss the various sources of error that can affect GNSS accuracy and how these errors can be mitigated. Whether you're new to GNSS or just curious to learn more, this blog will provide you with a foundational understanding of this incredible technology. The Global Positioning System the Global Positioning System, GPS, was developed by the U.S. Department of Defense as a worldwide navigation resource for military and civilian use. It was originally based on a system, or constellation, of 24 satellites orbiting the Earth acting as reference points from which GPS receivers on the ground can use to compute their position. Today, GPS is joined by other satellite constellations, including GLONASS, Galileo, and Beidou, greatly expanding the number of positioning satellites in orbit. Collectively, these constellations are referred to as GNSS, Global Navigation Satellite Systems. For the rest of this blog, we will use the term GNSS in place of GPS, as all modern Trimble receivers are capable of tracking multiple constellations. GNSS receivers work by listening to a series of specially coded messages transmitted by each satellite, a GNSS receiver on the ground can calculate how long it took the signal to get from the satellite to its own antenna. Then, to calculate the distance from the antenna to the satellite, the receiver multiplies that travel time by the speed of light. A GNSS receiver is able to make this calculation with multiple satellites simultaneously. If the GNSS receiver is receiving messages from at least four satellites, it can then triangulate its location anywhere on the surface of the Earth. What causes errors in GNSS location? GNSS receivers need to receive messages or track at least four different satellites in order to calculate a location, but this location will not be perfectly accurate. Various sources of error can reduce the accuracy of the calculated location. The first step in improving location accuracy and reducing errors is ensuring the receiver is able to track as many GNSS satellites as possible. Tracking four satellites is the minimum, but each additional satellite the receiver can track provides more messages that can be used to improve the accuracy of the calculated location. Tracking more satellites also enables the receiver to prioritize using messages from satellites that are of the highest quality or are the least impacted by errors further improving the accuracy of the calculated location. When working with GNSS, it is important to try to maintain a clear view of the sky so the receiver has the best opportunity to track as many satellites as possible. There are four main sources of error that can impact the location calculated by the receiver. Receiver and antenna error. Satellite error. Atmospheric error. Multipath error. 1. Receiver Error Receivers and antennas can introduce errors into the location calculation. Electromagnetic interference from other components on a GNSS receiver, like a modem or display, can reduce the quality of the messages before they are received by the antenna, while the quality of the GNSS receiver and a larger antenna will have a positive impact on location accuracy. This is why a Trimble GNSS receiver is able to calculate a more accurate location than a smartphone. 2. Satellite Error The timing of when a message is broadcast from a satellite is critical to GNSS, and so GNSS satellites are equipped with very accurate atomic clocks. Unfortunately, these clocks are not perfect, and slight inaccuracies in the timing of messages broadcast from the satellite can lead to errors in the location calculated at the receiver. Also, the satellite's position in space is important, but satellites can drift slightly out of their predicted orbit. This can introduce errors in the receiver when it calculates the distance between the antenna and the satellite. Atmospheric Error 
GNSS satellites transmit their messages by radio, and since radio signals in the Earth's atmosphere do not always behave predictably, this is another source of error. The receiver makes an assumption that radio signals travel at the speed of light and that the speed of light is a constant, but this is only true in a vacuum. In the real world, light slows down, depending on what it is traveling through. As a GNSS signal travels to the surface of the Earth, it gets delayed a little. Because the calculation of distance assumes the signals travel at a constant speed, this delay leads to a miscalculation of the satellite's distance, which in turn creates an error in location. Trimble receivers use a correction factor for the signal's trip through the atmosphere, but given the number of variables, no correction factor or atmospheric model can compensate exactly for the delays that actually occur. Multipath error When the signal arrives at the surface of the Earth, it can reflect off obstructions such as buildings and trees before making it to the antenna. The signal arrives at the antenna by multiple paths which is why this type of error is called multipath error. The antenna receives the direct signal first because the direct route is always fastest, and then the reflected signals arrive later, interfering with the direct signal and giving noisy results. Trimble antennas are designed to reduce multipath interference, but it is not possible to eliminate it completely. Eliminating Errors with GNSS Corrections A GNSS receiver needs signals from at least four satellites to establish its location, and each of these signals has its own set of errors as described above. The satellite clocks might be inaccurate, or the satellites might not be in their predicted orbits. As the signals travel down through the atmosphere, they are deflected and delayed because the Earth's atmosphere is not a vacuum. The signals are bounced around when they meet local obstructions, creating multipath error, before finally reaching the receiver. Fortunately, satellites are so far out in space that distances on Earth are small by comparison. If multiple GNSS receivers are within a few hundred kilometers of each other, the signals that reach them will have traveled through virtually the same piece of atmosphere and will have virtually the same delays. This means receivers will typically be impacted by the same errors, excluding multipath and receiver errors. So, one receiver can measure the errors and provide corrections for these errors to the other. This process of eliminating errors is called GNSS corrections. What are GNSS corrections and how do they work? If multiple GNSS receivers are located within the same area, the GNSS signals that reach them have traveled through the same atmosphere, and so they have the same satellite and atmospheric errors. If one of these receivers is located on a control point that has been accurately surveyed, and the location of GNSS satellites in space is known, then it is possible to compute an accurate distance between the receiver and each satellite. This reference receiver then divides that distance by how quickly the signal travels, the speed of light, and calculates the expected time the signal should have taken to reach it. This theoretical time is compared with the time the signals actually took to reach it, and this difference represents the satellite error. This measured error in the satellite signal can then be applied to other GNSS receivers working in the same region to reduce errors those receivers are experiencing and help improve their accuracy.